10, 20, 130 Milliampere. Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night No time to lose, one day, one step In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog, it is Sunday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is a comparison between transformers and switched mode power supplies and also explaining my plan for my power supply for my flat so let's get it, but before we get started, long goes out to all my subscribers thank you for making my life special and worth a living to the max so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video before we get started, I just looked through my vlog and I was like there is one missing for a Sunday, what the hell, so I'm kind of, whatever, I'm kind of confused, but who cares so if you're wondering about my fingers, if you see them by any chance, you will find out in my next vlog what, what happened. So. Now, thanks to my granddad, he pointed me in the right direction because I almost did something really stupid. As I said in one of my last vlogs, in a few of them I guess, I want to build a central power supply for my flat. This will power my Arduinos and my stepper motors and whatever there will be. And my original idea was, because I saw it at my granddad's place, he used a pretty massive and heavy transformer this one, to be specific, got myself one. And I thought, hey, I will use this for my power supply. But the thing is, this is actually, well, there is newer tech out there because this is very inefficient. And I was not aware of the fact that if you just plug it in, if you just connect it to the AC, it will draw power, it is crazy. And it will actually draw a substantial amount of power, especially when you consider a transformer for a long time always on usage like in my case. So this is the regular transformer quite heavy and large and this is the new switched mode power supply and what this thing does is it first of all it shifts the frequency up way up so that the transformer itself can be a bit smaller and then it will shift it back and stuff like that but the thing is this is super efficient and it's basically used in all these smartphone power supplies and stuff like that and I also currently power my Arduino and the door lock with switch mode power supplies. I genuinely thought that replacing the system with a transformer would be way better and stuff like that. But because of this massive, massive coil right here, iron core, when it's plugged in and gets in contact with AC, this massive iron core will get magnetized. Well, it will create a magnetic field. And there is a frequency to AC, so AC switches around all the time. So this magnetic field switches around all the time. And this is producing heat and it's actually producing quite a lot of heat. We measured a bunch of them and I will get to them in a second. And if I'm correct, like this thing just plugged in uses up at least eight watts, maybe even more like up to 30 watts, something like that is crazy. And the newer one, the switch based power supplies is for almost zero. It's awesome. So shout out to my granddad and now let's get to measuring some of them power supplies. This will be an milliampere. <coughs> this is a tenth of milliampere. So finden jetzt bei den Entladungen und Entladungen statt. Aber oh, das sind nur mehr Mikroampere. Dasselbe. Das ist ein halbes Milliampere. So, this is 300, 10, 20, 130 Milliampere. It's not that easy to calculate the power consumption for when it gets to AC. You can do it for DC fairly easily, but these are still numbers to like orient yourself. So again, I need to order more new parts. This one cost me around 50 bucks. So this was fairly stupid, it's pretty stupid decision. These are way cheaper and way more efficient. So I need a nine volt and a 12 volt to get started. Yeah, so this was my little adventure when it gets to these two different kinds of transformers. Again, I saw this first one at my granddad's plate and I was like, I need to get this. But I kinda didn't make it clear to him what I needed for. So just recently, he was like, don't do it. Like, there, is, there are better options out there. So I'm so thankful to have the input of my granddad and also the input of a lot of my viewers, comments and stuff. Hector, for example. I'm really freaking grateful because it is pointing me in a very good direction. It's really 
legit like it's really helpful and I appreciate it so much. Generally I do a lot of research and I think I'm pretty good at it but I still miss things. It's just invaluable, invaluable. I just miss things. I think it's normal. So thank you so much for all your input. Shout out to my granddad again. So I uh, need to order new parts. This will take a few weeks, I guess. So yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button the way I almost smashed myself with a massive electrical bill. Imagine running this thing a year. Like, it's crazy. I did a calculation. It's around six bucks per month just for having it plugged in. I think so. Something like that. Crazy. Bang the bell like crap pa, to never miss tech updates, flat updates. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>